What's up? Welcome back. We have another uh, little plug-in video for you today. Yeah, I know. I, I like to give you guys little uh, tutorials and tips and advice and stuff, but today's kind of a tip as well as advice, as well as a tutorial, all wrapped in one little simple video. So today I'm talking about a plugin that came out back in March and it's called Scene Tree Folder. Now, I, I, who knows what this means, right? Well, I'm about to show you, so let's just jump right into OBS and show you guys exactly what is kind of cool about this, uh, this plugin. Now, to get this installed, really simple. All you gotta do is hit the little go to download button and you download the zip file, you unzip it, and then you just drag and drop files into your OBS, uh, you know, wherever you put your OBS. It's really simple. Once you actually get the files dropped into your OBS folders, uh, then you're just gonna go ahead and open up OBS. And when you do it, you're gonna see a brand new window that's gonna pop up that says scene tree. Now, it doesn't really look like anything new. It just looks like your regular scenes. You know, there's nothing new, although you can see that little plus and minus button down there on the bottom left. So what's kind of cool about this thing is you can see all my different scenes here listed inside of OBS that I'm gonna be uh, messing with today. and. Normally, what I like to do with all my scenes and sources is I like to list things by like my live scenes as well as my asset scenes. Basically, it's like your scenes, but it's like you can add folders within your scenes list. So, uh, so let me demonstrate here. And normally, this is how I kind of categorize things, but you can actually make it a little bit cleaner looking by using this new scene tree uh, plugin. What I want to do is I want to simplify everything just visually. So with this new scene tree doc, I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and hit this little folder button. And when I do, it's gonna give me a brand new folder right there. So if I just double click on it, I can name this live scenes. So now I have a live scenes folder and now I'm gonna make one more. I'm gonna come down here, hit this little button. I'm gonna double click and we're gonna call this assets. Instead of using this little break that I use in my normally in my scenes, instead of like categorizing it that way, I'm gonna use these folders to do the exact same thing, but a little bit different. Look at this. So if I go ahead and take all the scenes that are my live scenes, I can just go ahead and drag them all into my live scenes. So now that they're all in there, cool. Well, they disappeared. Yeah, give me a sec. So I'm gonna take my asset scene, put that up here. We're gonna take our assets, like our subs, our other alerts, maybe our music sponsors, and uh, we got the PS5 and the Switch and the overlays and the captures, and put them all inside of these, uh, these folders here. I technically don't need these anymore. I could delete them. I'll leave them there for now. Now you can see we have these two brand new folders. And if I go ahead and drop down the menu, you can see all my scenes are here. Pretty freaking cool. So then we also have our assets folder. Now, if I open up that one, you can see everything's listed in here. Super easy, super simple. And it looks a little bit cleaner than I want to say this looks like. So now instead of coming over here and looking at my normal scenes where it says live scenes, I can just go ahead and individually click through here. Maybe I don't always want to see these asset scenes down here, so I can just minimize it and be done. On top of that, I can just replace this entire section. So if I take my scene tree doc, I can just bring it down here and overlay it right on top of this guy. Now I can go ahead and delete this if I want to. I, I technically don't need it anymore. Now I am going to delete it. So just be aware that when you delete these, it is actually deleting that scene. So if you go ahead and hit that minus button, you're deleting the little scene that you made. Now you can see I got the two folders. So all my live scenes are right here. And if I ever need to get to my asset scenes, I can just drop that menu down or undrop this menu down a scene tree, man. Basically, you can just it's just branching out here a hey, scene tree, right? So it's just branching out here into all my uh, my little assets and whatnot. So it's really nice. So technically, I don't even need this scenes doc anymore. I can come up here, hit doc, come to scenes, click that. Now I don't have the scenes list anymore because I have this brand new scene tree one step ahead here. You know what I'm saying? So now you don't need those little scene breaks and I can go ahead and just leave it as is. I can always come over here, right click on them and add toggle folder icons. And that's just going to put the little folder there so you can kind of see visually where these uh, these folders are so you don't get a little confused seeing a bunch of different names on, on, on your screen here. So pretty freaking cool that you can kind of see these things. It just looks so much cleaner in my opinion. So, you know, I don't really need the folders. I kind of know what it looks like already and I'm loving the way this looks. So it's a nice simple plugin to go ahead and just put into your OBS and just clean up your scenes a little bit. Just a little tiny thing, man. I think OBS could learn a thing or two from uh, checking out these plugins on the old uh, OBS forums. So it's coming in from Digit Otter. So shout out to uh, to them for going ahead and making this sweet little simple plugin uh, to go ahead and just keep your everything, you know, clean. I love things when they look clean. I love organization. I love when my, I have so many scenes in my, I, I, my, my OBS looks like a nightmare. This, uh, this little plugin really helped me out. So go check it out when you get a chance. Simple thing, drag and drop. Nice, simple dock to go ahead and add to your uh, your OBS. Make things a little bit cleaner. Make it a little bit more nice for yourself. And uh, 
That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and sub to the channel. Bro, we're getting close to 10,000 uh, subs. So if you guys can go ahead and hit that little button there, that'd be real nice. No pressure. But like, you can do it. You sub, a little bell, a little bell. You get the notification. You know when I put the videos out. I'm going to try to post more videos soon. And then you'll start to see and hear when I'm coming back with more videos and and you know you don't you don't have to leave right this minute you don't have to leave you don't have to put the, okay all right